Okay, here we go. So sit on the saddle of your horse. Feel the feet really rooted and just let the arms go from side to side. The feet are rooted, your tail's rooted and our arms are gently swinging, loosening up tension and I'm actually pushing off one foot going to the other foot. And as I do that, the energy goes from the foot to the lower dante and to the other foot. So I create a rainbow between my legs from one foot to the belly to the other foot. Creating that rainbow of energy rising and falling to the other side. And the knees are relaxed, the groin is relaxed, the ankles are soft, all the vertebrae are just opening up gently. No forcing anything, it's just gentle. And then we're going to give ourselves a pat on the back for tuning on Zoom today. Lovely to see all of you today. We all deserve a pat on the back, so don't forget to give it to yourself. Then let the motion subside. And notice how you feel. A little more relaxed. Now sit on the saddle and gather a basket of unconditional love. And we're going to bring the basket forward. Look at the front hand. The back hand gives chi to the front hand. Keep looking forward. The other hand comes forward and the back hand gives chi to the front arm. And again, twisting. So the hips stay where they are. It's the upper body that's rotating. And now I'm going to release the basket, pick it up on the other side and release Release and our song, love is something if you give it away, give it away, give it away. Love is something if you give it away, it comes right back to you. Stand in grace for a moment, see if there's more chi in the body. And I was visualizing, I had a basket of spring flowers for Mother's Day and I was sending you off beautiful flowers. Okay, step back on one foot, sink on the back foot, gather chi up and paint your beautiful rainbow behind you. So all the weights on the back foot, the circulation is from the back heel, hip, shoulder, out the fingertips. The knee should not receive any tension. So you're just getting this wonderful opening, streaming colors off the fingers like a beautiful rainbow. As my garden still filled with all the colors of the rainbow. And come upright and feel the difference between the side that worked and didn't work. Step back on the other foot, sink down the weight on the back foot, gather chi from the earth, up to the hips, shoulder out the fingertips. And come upright and see if you feel a little more balanced between both sides. I do. Soften both knees, thumb over middle finger like a kitten. You're going to wipe the, your face or groom as you're going to wipe your whiskers and groom from behind. So I round to the earth, knees stay bent, and I keep the knees bent as they open to the heaven. So feel that rounding and opening. And come upright, inner thighs, hug, shoulder blades, kiss, feel that inner smile through your body, lovely. And now I want you to lift the fingers and toes as we have 20 fingers and toes and we have 20 channels that run through the body, all the organs of the body and connects everything together. We're just twinkling. As I twinkle my fingers and my toes, I visualize my father up there smiling upon me from above as I twinkle back to him with my smile. So think about somebody who's past who's shining upon you. And stop for a moment and see if you feel a little more buzz in the hands and feet. I do. Now take your two hands, two knuckles, one in front of the other, above the knees. You're gonna hug the inner thighs. And then release. So I'm above the knees and I'm hugging the inner thighs. 
kidney, liver, spleen channels are activated and release. Do that wonderful hug and release. Hug and release. And the other side, I'm tr my back is flat. I'm not rounding the spine. I'm just keeping a long spine as I bend forward as I hug those inner thighs and then come upright. Okay. Now, hug the inner thighs. Kiss the shoulder blade back down, back behind you. Feel the inner smile. And then soften all the joints as we visualize root energy rises from Mother Earth, drawing it up to the lower belly, smiling up to the heart, smiling in your heart, up to the third eye, relaxing your mind, up to the heaven, and your tree blossoms as you sink back to Mother Earth. Let energy rise from the earth through the body, drawing it up, and watch your tree blossom. And again, drawing energy from the earth through the body, so your body's filled with vibrant energy. And then we reverse. Arms go out and up and visualize beyond the ceiling, beyond the blue sky, beyond the sun, the moon, and the stars is infinite energy, is pure healing light. We slowly pour that light into your own body, dissolving tension, dissolving blockage, dissolving dis ease and diseases out of our body all the way down into the earth and roots below inner thighs hug shoulder blades kiss feel the inner smile <sighs> again let the arms rise up towards the heaven shoulders stay down as we connect to this infinite source of healing light visualize all of your loved ones receiving this healing as it comes down upon you you receive and all of your loved ones receive pure healing light and unconditional love. And one more time as we float up, shoulders go down, palms go up as we connect to the infinite source of healing energy as we pour it into your own body, into your loved ones. Visualize all beings on this planet receiving healing light, protection, nourishment, and as we stand in grace, hug his smile, protected with this healing light, we bring our feet together. The middle finger comes to the small of the back. Feel the feet rooted, inner thighs hug, and let the upper body. Move circular like a tree in the breeze. It's a little breezy outside. You will not topple over because you have strong roots. If you need to open up your feet a little wider for balance, please do so. Then massage up and down along the spine and back and forth along the waist. And we'll go the other direction. Our feet are rooted, the upper body is just so supple gracefully blowing in the breeze. Come back center, one hand over the heart, the other hand over that, we smile into your heart. Smiling has such a profound effect on the functioning of our organs. So smile as you circle the chi around your heart. Now we're going to open your feet, shoulder hip width distance. You come on the ball of the foot so you feel where the hip goes in the socket at one tiao. Say after me, one tiao. And the other side. So we feel where the hip goes in the socket at one tiao. And then we take our laogan palms and put them over your one tiao. Soften the knees and now we circle the hips. Slow circular hip rotation as we're opening up all the joints of the body to be fluid, soft. So the toes are relaxed, the feet are relaxing, the ankles, the knees, the hip sockets, 
all the vertebrae of the spine, shoulders, elbows, wrists, finger, neck and jaw. Everything is fluid, total fluidity in your body. As you feel as the hips are circling, when the hips are back, weight on the heels, hips forward, weight on the toes, hips to the side, weight on the side. Let's just feel that fluidity through the body. Now drop your tail and massage one tail. And massage the tail. And come upright and then palms face the earth. We're going to rock slightly forward on the toes, lifting the heels and rock back on the heels, lifting the toes. So now we're just gonna massage the feet forward and back. And then find the middle so you're equally balanced forward and back on your feet. Now gently rock to the outside of the foot and to the inside. So you feel more in the ankles, not in the knees. We just want to let the energy go to the outside and the inside and then find the middle. So you're totally balanced between in and out, forward and back. And our feet are rooted to the earth, the depth of your height. Soften the knees, keeping the feet rooted, hips rooted, uh, not hips rooted, feet rooted. Now we go the other direction. So allow the whole upper body to move freely like you did before as our feet continue to stay rooted to the earth. Just let everything move freely. Every joint. Then drop the tail massage again, where you need it the most. I know where I need it, so give Chi where you need it. Okay, standing, grace, inner thighs, hug, shoulder blades, kiss, feel the inner smile. You are looking good. Bring your feet together. And we're going to bend the knees, keep the core lifted up. Again, with a flat back, just bending at the quad, hands on the knees, and there's no weight on the knees because I'm lifting the core as they circle to the right. Then massage the knees and go the other direction. Now massage the knees, then lift the heels on the ball of the foot and go to the right. So you're massaging your yung chin, the first point on the kidney meridian, as you lift the heels going to the right. Then your lagon palms and wanchia go down the outside of the leg, the yang meridians. Hands on the knees, lift the core, lift the heels, go to the left side. Then open your feet shoulder hip width distance and draw a good shift the inside, the inside of the body. And bend the knees and roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, feel the feet rooted, the tail rooted, the core lifted, inner thighs high, shoulder blades, kiss, feel that inner smile. Mm, looking so good. Our hands are gonna draw chi up from Mother Earth, drawing it up slowly, slowly to the lower belly at the lower dantian, smiling as you hover your hands over the belly. The thumbs are two inches apart, index finger one inch apart. The hands are hovering about an inch over the belly and just smile. Giving good chi to the core of your being, our dantian. Then we bring the chi to the heart center, the middle dantian. And we have one straight line between elbow, middle finger and elbow. Shoulders are down, chest is open, smiling into the heart center. Unconditional love. Keeping the shoulders down, the third finger comes to the third eye. You totally relax your mind at the upper dantian, our spiritual center. 
Bring Gucci to the crown to bike way. Interlace fingers. Keep the shoulders down as you turn the palms up. We're going to lengthen the arms up. And the eyes look up. And I'm going to bend my knees and bring the hips forward as I tilt towards the heavens. So the knees stay bent as I rock back as hips go forward. And my elbows are near my ears if you're able to. Lengthening those elbows. Now I'm looking at my hands. I'm going to stretch to one side four times. My eyes look upward, so I'm stretching my eyeballs as they go to the side. My feet are rooted so you will not topple over. Come center, let's go the other direction. Eyes stretching. Okay, now we're going to come down. The thumbs are unzipping a zipper all the way down and circling up. So I'm unzipping and releasing any stacking energy from the body, just whisking it away. And stand upright in grace, inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile. Now I'm going to imagine bending my palms and my eyes face the earth. So I'm visualizing the connection to the earth. Then my hands are going to draw the chi up to the outside of the right heel and push down with my mind and my eyes and my palms. Then my hands draw chi up to the dong tian and go to the other side and push down. And slide forward. Now with the flat back, I bend the knees, feet are parallel, knees are parallel. With the flat back, I face the earth. The hands will draw chi up the outside of the right heel. Draw chi up to the left heel. Slide in the middle, bend the knees and roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. As the feet are rooted, the tail rooted. We slowly come back up, standing in grace. Lovely. Now we're going to roll down. Head goes down, shoulders go down. Lift the belly as you roll down towards the earth. Heavy head, down, down, down. Then the hands draw chi up, knee height, the outside of the right heel. Draw chi up, knee height, the outside of the left heel. Slide in the middle, bend the knees, head down and roll up. Feet are rooted, tail rooted, and we slowly roll back up, standing in grace. Lovely. Now we're going to barely bend. So again, we bend at the quad, we activate the core, and we barely bend, only about 15 degrees. And you're going to feel the core muscles really working. Then we draw chi up outside the right heel. Draw chi up outside the left heel. Push down. Slide in the middle and come up, right? And now we're going to go beyond the barely bend. Take any bend you would like to activate the core, lengthen the legs, and bend towards the earth and breathe. Enjoy the stretch. The hands draw chi up outside the right heel. Draw chi up outside the left heel. Slide in the middle, then we're going to circle the arms down and out, whisking away from the lower body, down the legs and out. Then hold on to the elbow, circling down and out. And your allow bum palms, kind of one tail, slapping down towards the ankles. From one tail down. And then brush it down. Feet are parallel, bend the knees, they're parallel over the second toe. Keep the knees bent as the feet root, the tail roots very slowly. We build up vertebrae by vertebrae, standing in grace. Inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile. Lovely. Okay. So from here, we're going to sit in a little wider stance and sink down. Inner thighs high. We're going to put all the weight onto one foot. Really feel that foot rooted. 
Feel the thigh hugging the bone, strengthening bone matter, helping to prevent or slow down osteoporosis. Then I'm gonna push off from that foot, the energy rises up to the lower dantian, and then I transfer to the other foot, rooting to the earth, feeling that thigh really strong, the muscle hugging the bone. I'm very upright, hug the smile as I go from side to side, my upright bear. Knees stay bent the whole time, but you're visualizing the energy rising from the earth into the dantian, sinking into the other foot. As we do this, our palms and our feet are receiving energy. The bubbling springs are receiving healing energy from the earth. Strengthen the muscles and the bones as we relax the mind. With slow, relaxed, full breathing. It's a standing breathing meditation. Good to practice daily as you feel all the weight on one foot into that thigh. Keep those muscles and bones strong. Help prevent falls as you strengthen bone matter. And come back center, drop the paws as you come up, right? Inner thighs, hug, shoulder blades, kiss, the, feel the inner smile. Now look at the hands, are they a little pink or redder? If they are, lift them up so I know that you receive the chi. Because it really makes a difference that you are receiving chi from the universe. Come sit back down on the saddle. All the way down your left foot, your right heel comes out with no weight on it. I lift. The, um, from the core, I bend forward, but I lift the core muscles I'm over my left thigh with the long spine. I feel the stretch in my right calf muscle hamstring. I go to the right leg and I warm up the spine as I warm up that leg, relax the spine. Come over the knee. Now elongate the spine over your second toe. Index finger sink to the earth. Send roots to the earth, thumb index, middle finger center roots, 10 finger center roots. As you look between your first and second toe, if you're flexible enough to touch it, do so. If not, visualize your chin sinking to your toe. Don't force it. All the weights on the back leg. And then get love pads from one heel down. Right hand goes down the outside, left hand comes up the inside, the inside brushing, whiskey. Then come back parallel, bend the knees, feel the feet rooted, the tail rooted, and come all the way up to standing. As we feel lopsided, one side's more stretched than the other, so sit back on the saddle. All the way to my right foot, left heel, no weight, lift the core, go over the right leg with my flat back. And feel the left calf muscle hamstring stretched. Then go over the left leg as I warm up the spine and I warm up that leg up and down. Keeping the weight on the back leg, my hands over the left thigh, elongate the spine, my nose is over my second toe. Index fingers stay to the earth like roots, thumb, index, middle finger center roots, 10 finger center roots. As I look between my first and second toe, I can easily touch it. I will, if not, visualize chin to toe, make that connection, breathe into it. Don't force it. And then give love pass. All the way down, deep down. Left hand goes down the outside, right hand up the inside, the inside, brushing, whisking. Then come back parallel, bend the knees, feet rooted, tail rooted, and slowly come back, standing in grace, hug, kiss, smile. Ah, nice stretch, lovely. Sit back on the saddle, put middle finger on the kidneys, the uh, left foot, um, the knee slightly bent, put all the way down the left foot and draw that right toe in. We're going to try balancing if you need a chair, do so, but we're gonna see if we can lift that leg up and look at a point in the distance. And then come down, step out, standing leg bent, feel the feet rooted, draw that toe in, look at a point in the distance.
Lovely. And step out as we do this again. As the right leg comes up, it's going across the body, activating the claw, the groin area. Step out. And the other side. And now we're going to boot out of your system anything that is negative, anything toxic, anything you want to get rid of. Shoulder blades kiss, don't look down at it. We just want to release. We're stretching the back of the leg, the yang meridians. We're booting any negativity out of your body, out of your mind. And go higher. And then we're going to do the same thing, pointing the toes, starting low across, really activating the qua, keeping the lymph nodes working well, cleansing the body. And then we go higher, a little can-can. Imagine all of us standing in a great big circle doing the can-can. We are nine of us in a great big circle doing the can-can. And standing grace, hug, kiss, smile. Lovely. So visualize this beautiful circle. We're all standing about six to 10 feet apart. We're going to soften all the joints coming down. We're going to gather energy from Mother Earth. Let it draw up slowly to the lower dantian, smiling into the lower dantian. Now up to the heart center, smiling. And open your heart to this beautiful flock of geese, nine of us together. Soften the elbows, soften the knees, relax the shoulders. Our third finger connects energetically as we create this circle of healing. Visualize our circle containing unconditional love and healing light. And if there's someone you're caring about that needs this energy, place them in the middle. Pure love and light. Now visualize yourself standing in the middle, basking and receiving unconditional love and healing light. Now we're 10 of us connected. This beautiful circle filled with light. Then gather the chi back to yourself and give yourself that wonderful hug. We all deserve it. And then open your arms, open your heart again, all 10 fingers connect. Soften the elbows, soften the shoulders, soften the knees. Each finger as it connects to different organ of the body, symbolically we're connected to all life force and all living beings. And we feel pure gratitude for all the blessings in our life. for being here connected on this beautiful spring day. And we send healing blessings to all beings on this planet. Everything that breathes receives this healing energy. Then gather the chi back to yourself, hug it up and just embrace it, enjoy it. And then we're going to clap from behind and give yourself um, a hug. So we're alternating arms, clapping from behind. Then standing grace hug to smile. You're going to take your right arm. You're going to wrap it around your neck. Take the left elbow, hooking the right elbow to the left side. As my head turns to the right, my right hand tries to touch right ear. Left hand fixes left ear. Lower the tail, lift the core, looking over the right shoulder. Spiraling up to the full moon. So the wonderful twist opening up the spine. It's a chiropractic, self chiropractic adjustment. And then we release, push back. And take the left arm, let it wrap around the neck. The right elbow hooks it to the right side, head turns to the left as left hand tries to touch left ear, right hand faces right ear. Lower the tail, lift the core, look over the left shoulder, eyes spiraling upwards to the left, towards the full moon. 
Feel the body opening, the spine opening as you lengthen the spine and it twists. Beautiful opening. And then push back. Really stab the energy out. Okay, I'm gonna lunge forward on my left leg. My hips are gonna face that left direction. Bend my right elbow as I circle the right shoulder. So I'm really moving, I'm massaging the shoulder, the shoulder blade, I'm loosening up any tension with my right shoulder, left hand over the left thigh. And then I'm gonna lengthen that right arm down. As it comes up by my ear, I create a great, like a windmill circling around. Alternative energy windmills. And reverse, spin the elbow, let the shoulder come up, forward, down, up, forward, down. So really massage that shoulder. Then lengthen the arm down, keep the shoulder down, and now our windmill goes the other direction. I wonder how much electricity we're all creating as we do this together. Then bring the left toe in, toe to toe, pivot on the right heel, facing the right, right hand on the right groin, bend that left elbow, circling that left shoulder, circling that shoulder. Then lengthen the arm and the shoulder down and coming up right. Beautiful windmill. And reverse, bend the elbow, let the shoulder come up to the ear. Lengthen the arm down and slice down. Now both arms are going to flip flop to the right and to the left, over the shoulder and to the back of the kidneys. Okay, pivot on the right heel, toe in, pivot on the left heel, toe out, hips towards that other side, and again, the, the spine stays center. It's the arms go around the body. And step up and see if there's more chi flow in your body, if you feel more alive, more vibrant. I certainly do. Now we take your third finger to the kidneys at Ming Men. Say with me, Ming Men, it's opposite the navel. And on both sides, a couple inches of shen shu over the kidneys on the bladder meridian. They say shen shu. So it's just the lower, it's on it's the same level as the waist opening. Uh, you'll feel the muscles of the back. It's where you feel those muscles. And then we come to dab out which is on the level of your nipples, on the side of the breast, we're massaging your dab bow, say dab bow. Then we come to the qua, giving good chi to the groin area. The lower dan tien, smile into your lower dan tien. And the middle dantian smiling into the heart center, the middle dantian, the heart center. Your right hand over the left shoulder, your trepan and chihu, and left hand under the left rib. We're going to breathe into your left lung as you go over the collar, a trepan and chihu. And the other side, so you. The hand is under the rib and the other hand's above the rib. So now I'm breathing into my right lung, the fullness of my right lung. And then I take my right arm and give myself a pat on the back at the shoulder. Then I'm going to lift up and get underneath the shoulder like it in Galwang and Feishu. Say Galwang and Feishu. And push back. And my left hand under on the right, lift the right Left elbow, go underneath the right shoulder blade, getting galang and facial. The limb points from behind. And push back, releasing. 
And then from the tips of the fingers, the tips tops webbing. And now I'm gonna actually sit down so you can see what I'm doing better. If you'd like to sit as well, you are welcome. So the Bashi points are the devil's points. It's where stagnant energy is caught between the webbing. So we go from the tops, or the tips tops and over the wrists, ironing the wrist straight. And the other side, tips, tops, webbing, wrist, here we go. And then we come to the center of the palm, laogan, say laogan, our bubbling spring. And we're gonna gently sit upright, high kiss, smile as you press the center of the palm at laogan, gentle breath in and breathe out to relax. Breathing into your laogan. Breathe out, relax. Do this your own breath rhythm. It's a sitting breathing meditation, especially good when you feel anxious to calm you down. Regulate heartbeats. And go to the other laogan. Gentle pressure, breathe in. Breathe out, relax. And see if you can slow your breath down to a slow waltzing rhythm. Breathe in, two, three, and out, two, three. Waltzing breath in. And breathe out. Your own breath rhythm, your own waltzing breath. Press gently in. Breathe out, relax. For me, it's so relaxing. I'm ready to take a nap after doing that. <laughs> Now we get to the hegu point between the thumb and index finger and I'm pressing both inner and outer points are hegu, say hegu. And as we gently press, breathe in with your own waltzing breath and breathe out, hegu on the large intestine meridian. It is good for headaches, toothaches, constipation, dehydration. Gentle pressure as you breathe in and then release. And the other side, your other hegu. Okay, our next point, three fingers below the wrist, one, two, three, where the third finger is, is um, neguan, and the other uh, finger behind that is waguan, but we're going to press on the ne neguan, gentle pressure, breathe in, and release on the breath out. Neguan is again on the heart protector, and it's generally working with Anxiety, queasy, uneasy stomachs, feeling nauseous, just help to calm you down. Every breath out, you become more calm, relaxed, at ease. And the other side, three finger scouts on or go under the wrist. One, two, three, where the thumb is. And then the outer finger walk one is on the triple energizer. And this point is like a thermostat helping to regulate the chi in your body. So I'm pressing the inner and outer, but I'm focusing on the outer point. Now with my right arm bent, I take my left thumb, following the right thumb over the bone till I get the crease of the elbow to cheese it, say cheese it. 
Chisa is on the lung meridian. So we continue breathing in as you press and relax on the breath out. So this is good for lung diseases, fevers, tendonitis. And the other side following. Now take your index finger at the U of the collar. Then thumb goes to the end of the collarbone towards the shoulders. We're gonna divide each bone in half. It should be directly over your nipple. Index finger hooks on top like a hanger. At Chwepin, say Chwepin. Then thumb hooks below at Chihu, say Chihu. And we move our little gosling wings. This is good for cough, asthma, sore throat, and hiccups. And try to reverse. And relax the arms and notice your breathing. Mine is so much fuller as I open up the chi door to my lungs. Lovely. Then let's do our leg points. So I create a right angle. The thumb comes above the knee and then I tilt that right angle in at the shin. And then I go back out one inch and where the middle finger is, Sanyin Jiao. And Sanyin Jiao is on the stomach meridian and this is good for digestion digestive problems. It's like an instant um, anti-acid without needing drugs. Lovely. Now the next point we're going to do is uh, above the knees, three fingers. And the point is on still on the outer point, three fingers above, this is the yang shu, and you place your palm on the yang shu so that the fingers rest over the knees. And this is for standing breathing or sitting breathing meditation. Inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile and breathe into the belly. Slow waltzing breaths into the lower Dantian. Okay, now my left foot up, I take my right um, scout sonner above the ankle bone, thumb goes above that to Sanyin Jiao. Sanyin Jiao is on the spleen channel where kidney, liver, and spleen come together. Don't push hard, be gentle here, especially if you have any swelling or edema, we don't wanna push into that. And the kidneys are in charge of your bone health. The spleen is in charge of your muscle health. The liver is in charge of your blood health. So if you have any issues in your body having to do with blood, bones, or muscles, this is a point to help regulate and strengthen. Let's go to the other side. Three finger scalp center over the ankle bone, thumb goes above that, that, just behind the bone where it's a little tender. And we just breathe into Sanyin Jiao, regulating chi in your body. Okay, our next point is Yong Shen at the bottom of the foot. So it's at the bottom between where the ball, the big toe and the second toe are connected in there. And so this is a good place to massage just for, it's our first point on the kidney meridian. You can massage the whole foot, but really get that point. And this is the point where we receive Chi Friendly Earth. 
And then we have the bottom of the foot, like the three fingers above the heel or just from the heel up three fingers is um, a point for insomnia. So we can massage that point for insomnia. And then we have the inner arch area of the foot. We massage that from the heel towards the toe. And this is on the spleen channel, strengthens the immune system. It's considered anti-cancer strengthening. And we'll go to the other side. So starting with your yung chin, we massage this point. And in your book, it will talk about all the different things that this point gives you. So take some time to read what these points are good for. And then at the bottom of the heel, three fingers up, our insomnia point. And then the inner arch area, strengthening the spleen channel, strengthening your immune system. Okay, now the point between um, Yong Chen and above it in between the third, uh, the, the big toe and the second toe is a place that you hold. And this is when we do our looking up at the full moon and we gather Qi down between the big toe and then Yong Chen. And then this is where we push forefoot three times, either flapping your wings or circling. So we're gathering chi and this exercise when you're getting the shoulders and you're holding this point is where the um, macrocosmic orbit, we're moving all the channels in your body, opening and the other side. So we find that place where the thumb is so, um, the thumb, the big toe and the second toe and your yung chin. So we gather chi up. The light shines upon that point and we hold that point and then flap your wings or circle. Macrocosmic orbit opening ball channels in the body. Okay, and come back for a moment and Sit in grace, take a smile, and notice if you feel any difference, a little more alive, a little more chi flow through the body. Lovely. Now open up your right thumb and index finger. We're gonna fluff from the right collar to the right ear, 10 fluffs towards the left ear, that long gooseneck. And 10 fluffs back. And the other side, starting with the left ear, fluffing that long gooseneck, trying to prevent double chins as you give good chi. And 10 fluffs back. and see if your neck feels longer. <laughs> we are becoming beautiful geese. Third finger to the third eye, yin tang, say yin tang. And the third eye, we gently press to tai yang, say tai yang, and massage. From yin tang to tai yang, and massage away any headaches. Yin Tang to Tai Yang. Then we come to Jing Ming, bright eye point at the corner of the eye near the tear duct. And then we wipe away any tears. And this is good for vision, for clarity around the eyes, in the eyes.
Then we come to yin qiang, welcome fragrance point. Make sure you're outside the nostril, not inside the nostril as you massage. And then we go underneath the cheekbone, create a great big clown smile. That's welcome fragrance point, really allowing yourself to open up, to breathe as fully, as clear as you can. And then two fingers above and below the lips. We have other acupressure points. The other hand supports the chi. This is good for toothaches and gum diseases. And the other way. Then pinch release, pinch release any tension we may be holding there all the way up to the ears. Really good for the lymph nodes here. And then your index finger under the ear, you know when you're there, when you open and close the jaw, you can feel that. The middle finger over the flap, and now we're gonna make precious like Halloween, loosen up the jaw, loosen up any way you can stretch the mouth and the jaw, make faces and sounds and yawn, and just let go of any tension you may be feeling in that face, in the jaw. And then we massage the ear. We have lots of ear points connected to the entire body. So when you massage the ears indirectly, you're giving good chi to your entire body. And then get the inner crevices. Then we take two fingers like peace and put the ear in the middle and we fluff good chi up. Then we shake out toxic negative energy, then place your lap on pumps over the ears and we're gonna play the heavenly drum. And shake out is supposed to make you smarter. As we get old, we naturally get wiser anyway. Okay, hold the chi under your chin and we're gonna wash face comb hair seven times creating a protective halo around you. Without touching, we give good chi. Three times, if you have any energy in the first three times, let, negative energy, let it go. And the next four times, continuous flowing energy pure, positive, healing energy, smiling energy. Your protective halo. On the last time, let the chi flow down the back of the head, neck down the spine, all the way down. and collect the healing chi, that healing light, as you slowly give it to every part of your body as you relax the mind. Strengthen the heart. Nourish the body. And rest the hands on the thighs. And we're gonna do that again and as a sitting meditation. So, Remember the Laogang palms will rest over Liangchu above the knees. That's where we're going to end at. So as we hug kids smile, try not to use a back rest if possible. So we want to use your internal chi to lift you up. As we slowly turn the palms over, shoulders stay down. We begin to gather chi from the heaven and create this halo. And as you come to the hair chi height or to Bai Hui, at the top and then the hair chi height. As the hands come to the hair chi height and over the eyes, our eyes begin to get heavy. As they come down towards the nose, they're even heavier, towards the mouth heavier. Bringing the hands to the throat, the eyes are much heavier. Chi to the heart, they're almost closed. Chi to the lower down tian, they're barely open. Then the hands rest on the thighs as the eyes close. 
the crown byway connects to the heaven, tip of the tongue connects to the upper palate as we're breathing through the nose into the lower Dantian. For six slow waltzing breaths. And slowly take the hands and rub them together, the laogan palms. And place the heel of the palms gently over your eyes. If you massage the eyes seven times, massaging around the eyeball. Then we cup the hands under the chin and seven times. Give yourself that protective halo, wash hair, a wash and groom, wash face, groom hair. Creating a protective halo of healing around you, allowing smiling chi to rise. And after the seventh time, let the hands wash down all the way down the spine, over the breast, smiling into your breast, down to the lower dantian, and down to your thighs and to the knees. As we sit in grace, hug his smile, very gently open your eyes. Mm, lovely. So part of the wild goose form, there's the warm up, there's the acupressure points for self massage, then there is the meditation, and then the form. So we only spent a couple minutes in meditation, but if you can build up a five minute to 10 minute, eventually, 15 minute or 20 minute or longer meditation, you will receive so much more than the few minutes that we have here. That hopefully even now you feel more relaxed and centered and energized. So know that this is just a mini, a mini meditation that we do here, but I hope you'll take more time so now I want to go over the movements that we're doing today. So um, last, let's see, ins waist. After we did the single wing, the right hand going back, that was number 25. And then we turned your right hegu, touched the shen shu. Now, that's 25. Then 26 is step up. So you step up with the left foot and the left elbow come up. The left baby toe touches the ground in front of you and your left baby finger touches your waist. That's step up and you look into your left palm. So then you're gonna take, let's do that again. So, uh, Let's see, let's do from 23. When we were here, we were 
raising and rinsing the waist, we turned. Your right hegu went to the third eye. Your left hegu went to your tail. And then we fell upon our right foot as the left hand came up to the third eye, which is fall upon arm. And then that's number 24. And then we push down all the way down the center meridian. And your left hegu went to one, your left one tiao. And number 25, your right foot and right hand came out single wing shoulder height. We look all the way behind you. We look forward. So your right hegu at shen shu. Then here we come our new movement. We step up with the left foot and the left elbow come up. Left baby toe comes forward on the ground and your left baby finger touches the waist and you look into the left palm. And then from here, we're gonna do number 27, which is called wrap head to ear. I'm taking my right hegu and then bringing it around the waist to the right, to the navel with the right hand. Then my right hand comes up and my right laogang gives chi to the left hegu, to the left shoulder, to the left ear, behind the back of the head to the right ear. That is wrapping head to ear. And close. So that's where we're going to end the today. But we're going to do this again, just so that you sitting down and then we'll go from the beginning to that point. So um, um, we're gonna do number 23, the wrench waist. So I take my right hand to the third eye, my left hand to the tail, I'm looking over the left shoulder. And then I turn my right palm, my left palm forward as I fall upon my right foot, left hand comes up to the third eye, fall upon arm. And to restore chi, my left hand comes down from the third eye to the middle dantian, to the lower dantian. Left hegu to left one tiao. Then I'm gonna stretch forward with my right arm, shoulder height. As I wrap single arm, I'm looking, I look at my right wing all the way behind me. I look forward, palm up. Now my right hegu comes to the kid to um, the kidney, and then I'm going to lift my left toe or my left foot, my left elbow. Then my left baby toe touches in front of me. My left baby finger touches the side, and I look into the left palm. I take my right hegu. I'm going to wrap it from the back to the side to the belly. Under the palm, my right hand gives chi to the left shoulder, left ear, behind the back of the head to the right ear. Come down and we close. So now we're gonna go from number one to number 27, standing. We standing grace, high kiss, smile for number one. Feel the chi flow. The feet are balanced forward, back, in, out. Fingers are spread. Laogon is open. And then we barely bend as you give chi from your Laogon palms to one tiao, then continue to bend down as we stretch our wings. Number two. We come all the way up, number three, stretching your wings. Actually, number three is close the wings. So bring the chi back to close. 
Then we drop the fingers as number four. We push and set our wings. We look between the palms. I'm going to give you a diagonal, stretching out, barely bending. Then as you come upright, the hands go behind you. We create that claw to your shin shoe, lift the heels, and then we release negative energy out of the body. And again, come to the heart and we repeat. You look between the palms, fingers are up and out, barely bending, relax the shoulders, shoulders are down. And then rotate from the shoulders, palms go out as you come upright. We create that claw with the fingers, bring into the kidneys, the chin, shoe, lift the heels and release negative energy out. Then we lift, number eight, and give chi to the face, third eye, elbows stay forward, up to by with the crown. Then we open the elbows and close hands, turn hands over, number 10. As you rotate up to the heavens, shoulders are down, elbows are straight, eyes are up. Then we're gonna bend, barely bend, come forward, lift the chi up the outside of the right heel, push it down. Lift the chi up, outside the left heel, go down. Slide in the middle, number 12, return the hands, creating our umbrella, soften both knees all the way to my right foot as I pivot on the ball of the left foot for my rocking horse. My right hand gets chief in the elbow, past the fingertips, then under the elbow, weight on the right foot comes past the fingertips. I flex the foot, I create a claw with the left hand to left weapon. Right hand gives chi to the left foot, right foot. Come all the way up to tada, the right leg is bent. My right palm gives chi to the left foot, but I'm gonna bring it to the knee as I three times push forefoot or circle. Then I put the toe down and I push the chi with the right hand, left foot comes parallel, only one foot far. I come back center, number 16, I'm scooping chi up, create the claw to right in. Then I'm on number 17, look at the right foot, the left foot, come all the way up to restore chi, I'm looking at the palm, and the palm is gonna give chi to the toe, but I'm gonna bring it to the right knee, and push four foot three times, one, two, three. Then I bring my right heel back, number 19, as I push chi out one foot far, come back center, I'm gonna scoop chi up, I'm going to go down the center channel to the lower dantian with my left hand and I give chi to the heart three times, number 21. So turn hands once, twice. On the third time, I sink into the left foot and my right baby toe and right hand waist high, send chi as single cloud all the way behind me. I look forward, pop up, right hand to shin chi, transfer the weight. Left foot, left hand, come forward, waist high. Go all the way behind, look forward, pop up, heavy to shin shoe, transfer the weight. Right hand, right foot, center. All the way behind, look forward, pop up, heavy to shin shoe. Last time with the left hand. As I go forward, I give you a back view. I need to open to the side. Weight in the middle, if you can come on the balls of the foot, do so, if not, don't do that. Turning my right hand at the third eye, left hand at the tail. As I turn the left hand forward, we come on the right foot up to. <coughs> so my right foot's up, my right hand's the third eye. Then I'm gonna push down the center channel, all the way down. Left hand go one tia, and now single wing, right hand, Shoulder height. Look all the way behind to the right palm, all the way behind. Look forward. Now my right peg is a chin shoe, and this is our new movement. As I step on the right foot, I lift the left elbow and I lift the left foot. Left baby toe touches, left baby finger touches the waist. I'm gonna look into the left palm, allowing the right hand from the small of the back to wrap from the side in front under the palm, to the shoulder, to the ear, behind the back of the head, to the right ear. Then we step up and close. That was number 27 we just learned today. 
Okay, so the teaching is over now. We'll go through the form without stopping. I'm gonna go get some music and drink something. So if you need to take a moment break, this would be the time. I am sorry, but my music is not here. It's probably upstairs and I'm not gonna go up there. So we're gonna go through the form without talking. The first set from the beginning to the end. Thank you for joining me and here we go.
Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 